So what do you think, Joe? I think it's bullshit. But that boy swore it was honest to God truth. Sure he did. He's a big fat liar. He's not. He heard his uncle talk about it, and he's a gangster. Gangster, my ass. He works in the second-hand furniture store. Whatever. So what's the plan? I'm gonna check out the building site. You're so dumb. I know it's there! And I'm gonna find it. Yeah, right. Good luck with that. Sunflower seeds. Why? Vitamin E. Good for memory. If I was a cat, I'd spend all nine lives with you. Do you really think cats have nine lives? Sure. I like cats. I'm gonna have one when I'm older. Black. Like a devil. Do you live around here? No. Do you? I do now. We moved here from Seattle last year. You're American? Cool. Where are you from? Sweden. But you're not blonde. So? I just... never mind. What are you doing in England? I came with my mom. She got offered a job, and we stayed. And your dad? He didn't. Why are you sitting here? My mom's inside, eating. And she left you out here? I'm on a diet. That sucks. It's okay. I'm not hungry. Sorry about your dad. Don't be. You can fuck off. Nice flowers. Yeah. But I prefer red ones. Why? No reason. I just like red. He's back. Who? Brady, the ice cream guy. Do you have ice cream in Sweden? Do you have brains in America? I know the place where cats go to die. Yeah? It's just down the road. A cat cemetery? Not quite. It's just the backyard with some rubbish bins. But the cats really go there to die when they're old or sick. 
It's really weird. I can show you. But I should probably wait for my mom. About that cat place. Yeah? There are some nice red flowers not far from there. But... I don't even know you. I'm Joe. Okay. And you? My name is Ivy. Come on then, Ivy. You don't want to sit here all day, do you? Let's do something fun! Okay. Do you like them? Wow. They're gorgeous. Here, let me pick some for you. No. Let them grow. They're beautiful as they are. You're right. It would be like killing them or something. Exactly. And this way, maybe they will make someone else feel happy too. Got ya. Is this... it? Yep. But... It's just one cat. And it's not even dead. This one looks very old. He'll probably die soon. But that's okay. He's got at least five lives left, right? Oh, I don't know. This one looks like he's on his last one. Huh. You don't really like cats, do you? I was just fooling with you. Of course I like cats. Yeah? Yeah. Then let's go see if he likes us. Looks like he does. Aww, you're such a lovely pussycat. Your turn. Huh? Come closer and stroke his head. Okay. See? He likes you too. Wow, cats never really let me touch them. It's nice, isn't it? It makes you... It makes you fall in love. It's Brady. Come on, let's get some ice cream. Hey, Grady. Hey, little buddy. What can I do you for? A raspberry ripple, please. A raspberry ripple coming up. And what can I get for your little lady friend? I'm all right, thanks. Oh, come on. You've got to have some. I... Don't want any. She'll have chocolate. Girls love chocolate. I said no, and no means no. Mm. 
You should probably go after her, dude. I'm sorry. No. It's my fault. I... I freak out sometimes. It's okay. Are we good? We're good. Fist bump. I found it! Really? Yes! It's right where he said it was. But... I kind of need your help. It's stuck under this thing. What are you talking about? He thinks there's a suitcase of money hidden on this building site. I know it's there. Every Monday they leave it there and someone picks it up the next day. Wow, really? You don't believe him, do you? Who knows? It could be true. It's drugs money. And it's just sitting there, waiting for us. This kind of stuff doesn't happen in real life. But it's there, I can show you. There's a hole in the fence. Just follow me. I want to see. Let's do it, Joe. It's not safe for you, Ivy. Just wait here. Really? It's a building site. I don't want you to get hurt. I won't. No. We'll be back in two minutes. We're gonna be rich! It's there! Where? This way! This? See the big X? X marks the spot. Maybe you were right after all. Of course I was right. It's there. Want it. So why didn't you open this thing yet? I tried, but it's too heavy. And you're stronger than me. I'm sure you can do it. Obviously. Hmm. Let's see. We need to pry it open. I'll have a look around, see if I can find something. Hey, I think I found what we need. What are you doing here? I told you to wait. It's not safe. I missed the treasure hunt? I don't think so. Okay, okay. Just wait with my brother. I'll be right back. There is no money. I bet there never was. I don't believe this. Why would they hide grenades here? I don't know. Maybe it's terrorists. We should call the police. Yeah, but first, 
Let's get out of here. This thing is not safe. Come on, Robbie. No. I said come here right now. And be a chicken like you? No way. I didn't come here for nothing. Sure, it's not the money, but this thing's gotta be worth something, right? Don't even think about it. I'm going to sell it. Gary, from the shop, he's always looking for stuff like this. Please, don't do this to me, Robbie. Do you think we can? I was in my 20s when we met again. Straight away, I knew it was her. That same smile. Those same emerald eyes. She didn't remember me, I think. It was probably better that way. The chemistry was instant. We fell in love and got married within a few months. I never talked about Robbie. And neither did she. We were happy together. Then our luck ran out, and the cracks started to show. But I knew how to fix it.
Well, here we are. Look at those paintings. It's like they're saying, Welcome to Quiet Haven. We wouldn't want you feeling too happy now, would we? It sure looked better on the website. Ivy? Ivy, are you alright? So, you're still not talking to me? Great. I can't say I'm surprised. This is so very much like... You. Can we at least try not to make a scene in front of people? I don't want to look like an idiot again. Especially since I haven't done anything to deserve this. That's right. Say nothing. Say fucking nothing. What have I done? We were driving, and then you went to sleep for a while, and... Really, what the hell have I done? I'd like to know if that's okay. You know, I'm trying my best here, so can you please just cut it out and talk to me? It's been a long drive. I'm tired, and I really don't need this. I give up. Let's book us in. There's gotta be someone here who can give us a room. Did you hear that? This storm is gonna be huge. Ivy? Where are you going? Devil came through here. What? What is that even supposed to mean? We are not alone, Joe. They are watching us. Who? These bad people. They live in the mirrors. They reach out sometimes, trying to grab. They've gone now, but soon they will return. What the hell are you talking about? Can you really not see them? No, I can't. If you close your eyes, you will see them too. They'll devour you whole, Joe. They... they will... Away from him! I... have gone now. Who's gone? I don't understand. The big fast flesh-eater maggots with blood pouring out of their hungry mouths. They are always hungry, and they will bite and chew and swallow until we are nothing. This is crazy. We need to get you to a doctor, Ivy. I... I really don't know what to do. You don't seem right, Ives. We need to leave right now. Something bad is coming. Yeah, the storm. And that's exactly why we can't leave. There are worse things than the storm, you know.
It will be fine. Trust me. Now pull yourself together and follow me. We'll get to our room. Get some sleep. And I'm sure you'll see things in a different light tomorrow. Hello. May I help you? You'd like to get a room? I see, of course. We're usually fully booked this time of year, but you're very lucky. We do have one room left. Seaside view, recently refurbished, and sweet bathroom. It's a beauty. Don't listen to her. She's a liar. Liar, liar, liar. Fucking liar! There's blood under her nails. Excuse me. I'm sorry. We've had a long trip. My wife's very tired. Oh, all right. I understand. Oh, uh, well, but the room? I'm afraid there is one problem. What is it? Unfortunately, there's no double bed in it. Two singles. Is that okay with you? It's fine, I guess. Excellent. Please follow me. I'll give you the key. Here's the key. Now may I have your full names, please? Joe and Ivy Davis. Have you stayed here before? You look familiar. No. This is the first time. Is that all? I'd really like to get some sleep. Why, of course. First floor, room 101. Take the stairs. The lift is out of order at the moment. Breakfast at 8am. Please don't be late. Oh, and one more thing. What is it? There's a lady staying in room 102, right next to you. She's a very light sleeper, so please try to keep your voice down. She should not be disturbed. Sure. Whatever. We'll try not to disturb anyone. Good night. What is happening to me, Joe? I know something's been wrong for a long time, but I used to be able to control it. And now, I don't even know who I am anymore. Maybe you're just tired. I'm sure tomorrow? We won't even care about any of this. Wait, wait, wait. I'm losing my mind here. And you... You want me to fucking sleep! If this is reality, I can't even imagine what my dreams would be like. But thanks for your input, Joe. Useful as ever. I don't know what to do. One minute you're you, and the next, you're someone different. I don't even know. 
What if that person has always been in me? But you... You didn't want to know. You were afraid to see her. You couldn't hide it from me all these years. Huh. You wanna bet? What do you mean? Nothing can save us. Maybe we shouldn't be together, Joe. I mean, I've been thinking. Why do you love me? There are so many reasons, Ivy. I can see who I am, Joe. I know your life would be easier without me. And yet you always fight for me. Can you give me just one good reason someone like me deserves to be loved? Fine. Let's do this. Where do I start? When you smile, I feel like the happiest man alive. Oh, and this. That thing you do when you laugh, I love it. But most of all, I guess, I... We've been through so much together. I couldn't imagine my life without you. You like my smile? But I can't even remember the last time I smiled. And I've stopped laughing a long time ago. There's nothing funny about any of this. And finally, yes. We have been through a lot together. Perhaps too much. I think it's time to say it loud and clear. Ivy. I'm serious. This stupid holiday. It's never gonna fix anything. It's too late for that. So please, say it, Joe. Say it. So we can both be free. I still love you. No, that's the thing you don't. You have to understand that, Joe. Whatever that was between us, it's gone. Ivy. I'm done talking. Go to sleep and leave me alone. What about you? I'll go to bed soon enough. We need to get up for the breakfast, don't we? 8 a.m., don't be late. I don't care about a fucking breakfast. Why? We might as well play a happy couple one last time. In my dreams, I visit this place. The only one that never changes. My escape. My quiet haven. <laughs>